Hello everybody, welcome back to Insane Brit Gaming, I'm the Insane Brit, and this is part 9 of uh, Sherlock Holmes and the Devil's Daughter. Uh, in the previous episode we had to go and get, uh, we searched a body, and we worked out some um, symbols, which was a pain in the ass, and uh, it was a majority of the video, my apologies for that. Uh, however, the next part is, um, we've just got a warrant by blackmailing the detective at Scotland Yard. So we're able now to go back to the bowling place or whatever the club bowling club and uh what search the club lounge for clues obviously okay so let's go now right uh symbols can be have been drawn on the back of the mailing calendar okay dialogue all fries been specter of scotland yard yeah the premises all right so we've got the warrant that's good what else did I get for you? This is something I found um, because I went to do this and when I loaded it back up I went back to Baker Street and I researched the um, the actual uh, Mayor Civilization in Central America and basically uh, when I came back here it wanted me to do the um, blackmailing again and I didn't want you seeing that again so I'm just going to show you here the main empire uh, sorry empire is centered in the typical low, uh, tropical lower lands uh, the region now now nowadays known as Guatemala uh, had reached its peak of its power and influence around the 6th century AD the mayors except the excelled at arc, agricultural pottery um hieroglyphic if I'm reading that right hieroglyphic writing uh calendar creation and mathematics leaving them an astonishing record of uh, architectural architecture sorry and symbolic artwork ah okay now this is where it gets really interesting to me uh, if we move across sorry page two uh, the principal uh, nation of pre-conquest Guatemala was the I don't know if that word quiches <laughs> quiches also known as the mayor Quiche, uh, wait, the mayor quiche, the name of the pe uh, of this people means many trees Ugh. taken from the forested highlands which they inhibited. Uh, Tenshin Uman was the last ruler and the quiche's king who fought with his army against the Spanish conquerors in the battle of Pinal, uh, Pinal, 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 where his chest was fatally pierced. His chest was fatally pierced by the sword of Don Pedro de Alvarado. According to the legend, even in death, Tinchin Uman continued to protect his people. But it said it pierced him through the chest. I assumed it was going to be with a spear, it was with a sword. So I kind of put in two and two together there. Who knows? Uh, to go with this um, backstory of the legend, he, you know, ironically got pierced through the chest. Like our victim did as well, only with a spear this time. So that's the only piece of information I found out. I thought that was kind of interesting. But yeah, so let's travel to um, the club. Reading that was a pain in the backside. <laughs> Open deductions. I don't think I've really got any more evidence. The mayor calendar. Curse, but yes, we got that. And then it's facts about the crime. Duh, 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 duh. Physical abilities. Zacharias Greystoke was killed by a spear thrown by great accuracy and strength. But that doesn't. Uh, see, look, if I put Ch Charles was alone, it's not giving us anything like that. We can't pin them together like it's nothing. Hmm. B to D select. See? None of these go together, apparently. So let's come out. Now we can show this bastard this warrant that we've got. You can't say shit now.
Sir Charles, I have a search warrant. I would like to take a look inside the clubhouse. I see. Here's the key. But I do protest. Protest all you want, bitch. I've got a warrant. You stuffed up little prick. Stuck up bitch. Probably don't like it because of my shaved head. This was killed by the statue spear. Things Why won't the criminal. say anything? We have a right to know the truth. Uh huh. People talking. Maybe I should question oh, them. Horrible. Do you think the club will be closed? My God. Your biggest concern. Well, you obviously didn't do the killing. You're too fucking. Ugh. What's the word? I can't even think of the word. Pussies. Um, well, here we go. Don't know why I just didn't pick the lock and go in before, but whatever. Ooh, there's lots of goodies to look around here. Lots of shit to look at. Holy moly. I've been here five seconds, and I want to smash this open, take them, and run. My God. Sir J. Brombury, Egyptologist, Egyptologist, sorry. The late Mr. Bromsby's collection. No, no, I'm going to look at them again. Ooh, shiny. So no one actually stole anything, like, related to this. Damn, look at that. Ooh, wow, look at that. Okay, Sir Piro Blinkhorn, oh, okay. The late Mr. Blinkhorn's collection. Beautiful. Ooh. The late Mr. Smith's collection. Damn, what is this stuff, man? Damn. The late Mr. Sutherland's collection. I want to look at more. Here we are. Hmm. I'm looking at everything. Damn. The late Mr. Roberts collection. Probably doesn't have nothing to do with any of it, but I'm still intrigued. Okay, so we've taken... Oh, look at this bear rug. Nice. Poor bear, but whatever. So there's a lot to look at, guys, so I'm trying to be practical. For fuck's sake, what is this shit? It may not have nothing to do with the case, but no, nothing will be unturned. No stone unturned. This metal globe is very impressive. Yes. I wonder. Some bits are missing. I wonder why. Some bits are missing. Hmm. Maybe it has nothing to do with a case. Maybe it has everything to do with a case. We do not know. Some bells. Can't seem to look at that guy's stuff. Um. Aha. Uh -huh. Why can't I move this shit? I haven't got access to it. it won't let me. Ah, uh -huh. these antiques look quite valuable. Yes, they do. Guatemala. They come from Guatemala. It appears that it's a part of a gold statue from Guatemala. Solid gold. It's worth a fortune. And yet it's left laying around? Jesus, what are these people doing here? They're like playing bowls? Are they treasure hunters? This is a bit madness, man. It appears that it's a part of a gold statue from Guatemala. Yes, but I wanted to see if that was a... Uh, if it was... Re uh, any markings? This piece has been cleanly and intentionally cut. Yes, it has. So, the legend of the statue or whatever, they don't, by the sound of it, this was sent anonymously, that statue or that, or that um, thing that was my prize. <sighs> hmm. These antiques look quite valuable. These trunks have just arrived. They're from Zacharias Greystoke's antique collection. So... Interesting. The men who own these collections are all dead. Yes. So, someone from that country or whatever... Didn't like the fact that he owned this collection of their homeland. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. 
Anything more here? Very suspicious. Zacharias Greystoke. So he's embedded. He used to go there years ago. Makes sense. Got some documents. The bar ain't that to do with it. Not like he was drunk. As such. Two people playing chess. Hmm. Maybe. No, I don't know. I was going to say maybe they were both together drinking, doing whatever, and having a conversation. He tried to buy those things off of him. I don't know. And then maybe killed him because he wanted them. I don't know. No, but why would he leave them there? That doesn't make sense. I think I was on the no on the nose before. I was writing the money where. I'm thinking, at this, my, my opinion is, somebody from that country doesn't like the fact he owned that collection and wanted revenge for raiding his homeland, or thought they were sacred, or part of something bigger, a bigger group. So. The 50th birthday of Lord Stevenson. Mm -hmm. Charles Yellingham has a large family. So, we have papers. Dear Sir Charles, please be advised that we have successfully transferred a new uh, tranche to your club account. However, the payment period has been reduced to one month and the sum credit of a thousand pounds due to previous overdue amounts. So we owed money? This is Lloyd's Bank. Dear Sir Charles, who's Sir Charles again? Which one is Charles? Hold on a second, let me go back to the characters. For God's sake. How do I go to the characters? No. So Charles, oh here we are, yeah, so Charles owes money. Yes. So it would appear he owes money to the bank. March 1881, James Ness and Sons Jewelers, Sir Charles Yellingham. We acknowledge receipt of your item, namely the 458 grams of solid gold from a part of gold Guatemala statue. We agree to purchase this item. Monies will be paid within 48 hours from the receipt of this receive recipient of this letter, whatever. Uh, although this transaction is entirely legal, we do assure you that it will remain confidential. So he bought this part of the statue, it's actually his. But he owed money. Right? Please advise we have successfully transferred. Oh, a coup. Okay. To your club's account. However, oh, the payment period has been reduced to one month. So we had longer time, now it's been reduced. And there's some credit credit to a thousand due to Oh I see. If you wish to I see. So he owed money to the bank and he had a longer period of time. And he sold a piece of gold. Wait! He sold the piece of gold that was from Guatemala, which is in that guy's collection, but the money went straight to the to the bank. The bank took it. They were like, no, fuck you. And that's maybe when the argument happened and he killed him, maybe. That's what I'm thinking right now. It appears that the club members must members must bequeath their artifacts to the club. What? Really? That is bizarre. So yeah, they both own parts of the gold statue. He sold his one, or whatever. Yes, yeah, so they cut the statue in half and he sold it. And a thousand pounds went straight to the bank. Maybe he had re 
Maybe he wanted the money still and, you know, had reason to kill him. Ah, so Charles was once a captain in the guard. Okay. I think I've looked at everything now. Ah, draw. Ah, here's a piece of information. We haven't another piece of letter. Come on. Post office telegram. Yellington, as I said here in front of everyone, you cannot give away this calendar. I want to study it. We have to discuss this matter before the award ceremony. I have already warned the other one of this. Zachary Greystoke. So they wanted to give it away and he disagreed. And I was going to win it or whatever. Interesting. A message to Sir Charles from Zacharias Greystoke, the victim. Yes. Aha, more letters. Plot thickens. For Mr. Oliver, the company director of royal parties to organise the award ceremony for our bowling club's most recent competition, to the estimation of requirements for guest night, 20 cases of champagne, dinner for 40 reserved from a restaurant, a local music musical ensemble to ensemble to provide entertainment. Thirty flower arrangements for table decorations, Jesus Christ. Invitation cards for guests. I know this will be quite expensive, but do please allow me a period of grace to settle the payment as I recall you have you were so generous to grant on the previous occasion. Thank you in advance. Hmm. So he's so he wants this stuff for free, but he owes money. He will owe them money. What's this next piece of information here? To Sir Charles Yenham from Brittany Lovelace, Chief Accountant at Lloyd's Bank. Dear Sir Charles, our record showed that you are once again late, and this is for the fourth time in paying the credit you uh, you have with our house. Any delay in payment results in a fine of. Seven to ten, seven pounds ten cents. Is that what it's supposed to be? I want a fine of seven to ten. Okay, seven pounds something. Okay. After studying your proposal, we agree to seizing part of your club's collection in payment of the credit, which will be sold in pri at a private auction. All raised monies will be rever reversed against your credit account. So he's selling off assets, part of the club, the collection, to settle his debt with the bank. It appears that the club is unable to pay its debts to the bank. Yes. He's in shit. Money issues. Money worries. We found a lot of information from that desk and a conflict of interest or conflict of the situation and a motive to kill Zachary. Hmm, what's to stop him from hiring someone to kill Zachary? He's in it for everything else, why not just go that step ahead? But I still want to know, because the one thing we haven't done is looked at this. Is there anything we've missed? Going to full detective mode. I don't think there is. I can't see anything. I think we found a lot. Very rude leaving his desk like that, but whatever. I think I'm happy to leave at this point. Maybe we could talk to him. Hmm. The victim's presence, the club's collection. Hmm. We're going to we're gonna go all into it anyway. 
Wait, what's this? Oh, we can analyse him. Right. We did this before, didn't we? Yeah, no, we already did this. Character portrait complete. So we can just question him. Sir Charles, you informed me that you didn't know why Mr. Greystoke was here at such a time. That's correct. I have no idea. Browse evidence. Wait, what? So the charge was to him from Zachary. Yes. He did. So it's best to bring that up. He received a letter from him. Yeah. So he wanted to discuss it. That's right. Telegram. But in fact you do. Mr. Greystoke wrote to you about him coming with another person to visit. Ah, well, yes, that is right. He raised a scandal about the Mayan calendar, so he wanted to see me before the ceremony. But I don't know exactly what it was that he wanted, or who this other person he mentioned might have been. Hmm. You have a fine collection at your club, with one disturbing thing in common. Hmm. All the items are from our club members. Post mortem donation? What? The main calendar? Club store key? What? Post mortem donation? What the hell is that about? I don't, I don't see that. What's that? I don't know. But only from deceased members, including Mr. Greystoke. Ah, uh, yes. But it is a rule of the club that all our members undertake to donate their personal collections to us in the event of their death. Oh, I see. So that's your fucking ruse. That was his motive. A murder at my club. What a disaster for our reputation. Hmm. So I don't know what to do now. Apparently I'm not done, so... Don't get it. Alright, I've got to put stuff together. Maybe that's what it is. Right. Okay, here we go. Um, right, facts about the crime, <sighs> son of a bitch, club debt, that's a piece of information right there. Right, club debt, Sir Charles desired Greystoke's death in order to obtain a sell off his complete collection that was feasible other sir charles could sell any other collection sustainable club he was going to sell them all though wasn't he all right uh let's have a look at another one and the visit right he said he was going to visit, so that's bullshit. So Charles had the opportunity to prepare the victim. So Charles had the time to, and the opportunity to prepare. Yes. It's another branch completed. Excellent. Um. Hmm. There's something we're missing. Thing. 
He said something, but there was an option that came up to talk about the key. But what? What about the key? And why can't we look at this thing? I'm a little bit stumped, guys. Nope. Hmm. We go anywhere else or visit anywhere else? <sighs> no. It's still saying search the club lounge. There's a lot of information there to undertake. Murder at my club. What a disaster for our reputation. Ah, what a bastard. I don't know now, guys. I really don't. I questioned him like, as much as I could. Zacharias Greystoke. Maybe I made the wrong choices in the discussion. Am I missing anything? I just can't think. Coat of arms, no. Like it's a secret hall anywhere, or I just couldn't tell you. All I know is he was in debt. Sir Charles, a crime at his club, it's a terrible thing. At your service, Mr. Holmes. Oh, you fucking useless copper. Ah, uh, I found a lot of information, but for whatever reason, it's just confusing the shit out of me. Like, it ain't giving me anything else. Um. In terms of piecing it together, it's just like saying. Anyone who's cursed, physical abilities, there's a fur dude, but where's the fur dude? Facts about the crime. I don't know. Have I got sand like this? Yeah, no, I've written that's wrong then. Can I change that? Yeah. There you go. Okay, it's stretched out a bit. That's saying it's saying prepared. What if we change that one to so that extended? So maybe he was startled. I don't know. tell you <sighs> a 
who's the third person now? Um, unless I just travel somewhere. I don't get it, just to search the club, but I've searched it all. I don't really want to return to Scotland Yard. That's annoying. Uh, I may have to. But I feel like I'm missing something. And that's what's killing me. I don't get it because I've, I've looked at a lot of different stuff. I've looked everywhere in this bitch. The only thing I couldn't do was this thing. Because it won't let me. It appears that it's a part of a gold statue from Guatemala. Where's the fucking statue? The other bit. So I'd like to know. I can't kick it. It isn't giving me any... See, all these detailed things about this is going to help you. That isn't giving me shit. He's throw sank in the fireplace. Hmm... Guys, let me check the timing of this video. I'll see if I have to go back to, um, I might have to go back to Scotland Yard or even uh, Baker Street. I don't know. But, um, because I can't seem to find anything here. Uh, but I don't want this video going on for too long. Uh, anything else? <sighs> Guys, we're about 32 minutes in. I'm pissed off. Um, I know that it's something I'm missing here. And I can't think, because none of this is helping. This, uh, right button or whatever you want to call it. There's only one picture to look at here. Oh, hold on, wait, it's got individuals. Wait, what if we scroll on the individuals? Uh,. This one. It's Sir Charles Yellinger, the director of the club. All right, so that's new information. This dude. Zacharias Greystoke. Okay, chairman of a club, the guy, and then who's this then? I wonder who this man is. Okay. Guatemala, 1881. I don't think this is a bowls tournament. No. I wonder who this man is. So we've got new RB, empty space. Oh, oh. The photograph appears to have been faked or damaged. I'll take it. Nice, so that was the only thing we were missing, I think. That was definitely saying, we, well, we didn't have that. Yes, oh, okay, thank God. All right, um, let's continue, let's crack on. Completed, I forgot about the completed part. When it says completed, then we know we're done. I, I, I overlooked that. I looked everywhere else though in the room. We've got to be careful with that. Uh, so I can speak to him again. Um, let's have a look at evidence. Okay, so oh look, there's a chemical sign there. So we've got to do something. Perform an analysis. Small, okay, damaged photograph from the club's Guatemala expedition. So it's either damaged or faked. So okay, let's speak to him now. Oh wait, can we pull out more evidence? Hold on. Wait, no. Is it anything new? Facts about the crime? No. It's the same three things. I wonder if we can get anything out of him now. A murder at my club. What a disaster. Apparently not. Reputation. Okay, we can't. Bollocks. Okay, um... Well, we've got analysis uh, to go back to. Um, let's do... Do you want to check out the... No.
So, running statue. So, I'm going to say he saw, so he thinks he saw someone, but it might have been another man. I don't know at that point. He was prepared for him, 100%. And the club's debts. I'm going to keep that one now, it could be either way. So I'm happy with that right now, but let's go to my home where we can perform an analysis. The Big Street, where Dr. Watson will be waiting for me, no doubt. And again, nothing there, so let's come back out. A fine day's work. Sorry it's taken this long to get in this this far, guys. It is what it is. I know we're about 30 minutes in, 33, 35 minutes in, maybe. So just bear with me. Let's get home and we can perform this analysis. Let's see what we come up with. It may have been damaged. It was a long time ago, I presume. I don't know. But it could have been altered or faked. Come on, come on. I wonder what this would be like to play on the Xbox One S series. I mean Xbox S series. <laughs> like the loading, like snippety snap, you know? Finally, slow ass coach driver. Will Dr. Watson be there to help me? Who knows? Probably not. Watson? Watson? Nope. Right. Analyze a photograph. <sighs> Here we go. We have to make uh, muck around with some chemicals or whatever, I don't know. Sorry if I'm too near the microphone. Alright. Um, looks faded there, don't it? It appears that part has been painted over. I need to find out what's underneath. Ah. I need a pipette. Yes, I know what that is. I haven't a fucking clue. I assume this is it. Looks like a screwdriver. <laughs> I know this is where you dab it. You... Let's try to remove the paint with solvent. All right, solvent. Here we go. Oh, I'm learning a lot now. I can remove paint with solvent. Delicate. Easy. Easy. Let's gently remove the paint with a soft cloth. Uh. Huh. It's another man. Come on. Ooh. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's remove it all. On principle. Clean up this picture. Aha! And it is? Aha! There's another person in the photograph. Well, it tells us nothing. Who the fuck is it? <laughs> That's the important part. Is there anything I can do to help? Look. Yeah, who's this? There's a person with a swollen eye who was concealed within this photograph. A dispute of some kind, you think, Watson? Possibly. But it appears to me a characteristic symptom of a rare tropical disease that is found in South and Central America. South America! Brilliant, Watson! Happy to help. Is it deadly? Well, there is a chance he survived. I shall ask Sir Charles, but who knows what he'll say. I have an idea. There is only one hospital for such illness. The Hospital for Tropical Diseases. I have friends who work there. Oh, yes? Well, the chances are slim, but I'll pay them a visit. If he's in London, they would have seen him. Ah. 
interesting fact that hospital actually still exists today. I don't know if it's that exact hospital, but there is one, there is a hospital like that, and it does everything. And I'm talking every kind of tropical disease. It stores them, and basically what it does is if you come back from somewhere, it's very specific, don't get me wrong. If you have a snake bite and you need, well, I wouldn't say, well, if you have some, something wrong with you and it's something very specific that modern medicine can't cure, or like, you know, they've got to have specifics on that specific animal they have it there it's incredible place really so it does exist that is a real place um so that's where we'll be heading next i suppose or whatever hold on wait scotland yard to be street the club okay so i gotta go back to the club and confront him in theory uh a man was hidden in a photograph of a guatemala okay talking point what's next part investigate the murder of Zachary Grosset. So we suppose that we go back to the the man now, in theory, um, and we wait for Watson. Maybe he'll show up? I don't know at this point. But anyway, guys, I am going to leave it here. We're on nearly 40 minutes into this video, if not 40 minutes. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, it was a slow video. More, they have been slow to a point. There's investigation parts. But it's been interesting nonetheless. I hope you guys are hooked. I am very intrigued to see what happens. I think he did do the killing. Or what was the other man's involvement? Was he there as well? He was the other man that came along with um, him to talk about the gold statue. I wonder. I have no... It would be very interesting. This is like one of the most complex cases we've done. We've only done two now, haven't we? This is the second one. But this is more intriguing than the first. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links will be in the description below. And I will see you next time. Thanks so much for watching.